can see the stairs already. Meow. Oh, there would have to be a twat guarding them. How did I not explore this room? That's probably why. Whoa! What? what? Why is there already a identified thing? Maybe they pick up stuff that's laying on the floor? I don't know. Oh wow, more stuff that I haven't explored. No! No! Heal! No! Good. Don't worry, this is almost over, hopefully. Oh, what is that? Spider. Oh, I killed a goblin fighter, apparently. I didn't have time to see it because I just wiped the floor with the bastard and his hair. Yeah, I mopped the floor with his hair. Oh, a giant rat as well, apparently. Oh. Map. We've been everywhere, probably. Map. There's a chest here. Is there anything in it still? Oh, fuck that. There's no room. Ha. Ah. Uh, stairs? Anywhere? No? Yes, actually. Oh, the viper, apparently, as well. Stop saying that. Zombie, apparently. Stop that. Ah, good. No. Certainly getting plenty of experience here. Okay. Final stretch. Oh, go away. Wait, what was that? Something chasing me. No, maybe not. We're out of here. No. So there's nothing to do. What do I do? I do not know. Let's go in all the houses and... No. Well, I have over 10,000. I still have over 10,000, so I don't know what it does. And I don't know what to do. Maybe that's the end. But no, because at the start of the second game, you're in a different town. We don't buy worthless items. Yeah, no, I don't know. Levitation, whatever. So, uh... Stuff. No. You know it doesn't. You know they don't buy them. These guys do, though. I honestly don't know what to do now. Hang on a minute, and I'll check a walkthrough. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, how are you supposed to know? Activate the enchanted amulet. Ugh. Upon activating the amulet, you immediately feel it radiate power as its aura spreads, enveloping you in an envelope. No. Your awareness of the world around you around you fades. A warm, colourless glow obscures your vision. A watery rushing sound fills your ears. You can no longer feel the weight of your armour or even your feet on the ground, as if you are floating in a warm pool. Ah, the rushing sound fades to a low burble, and then to a barely noticeable throb. Oh, I like that word. You know why? I do. You feel warm, and protected, and somehow content. Time passes. A minute? An hour? You don't know. After an unknown time, you notice a shape in the glow before you. As you watch, it coalesces into the form of a man in shimmering ornate armour, who meets your gaze and smiles warmly. How do you smile warmly? Smiles don't have a temperature. His features seem familiar, though you don't recognize his face. He opens his mouth to speak, and the low throb in your ears rises rapidly in pitch until it forms words. My son, my boy, I am he who was called Prince Rurik, I mean Prince Arvi, thy, th thy father. The power of the amulet which thou now dost wear has summoned me from the nether realm, the nether regions, yum, no, and thee from Midgard. Midgar's Olam. Oh, 
so that I may speak to thee this once. Thou hast done very well to have come this far against all the obstacles before thee, and I am well pleased with... I am well pleased with the manner in which thou hast shown thy metal armor thing. I know. Avenging the deaths of thine godparents and the destruction of thy village. Yet thy greatest test still awaits thee. Oh. Elation fills you at your father's words of praise and the discovery of your royal blood. Because he didn't know he had blood. But his hint of future trials tempers your delight with foreboding. Your father continues. Eighteen years ago disaster struck our line when we became enmeshed in a great conflict between the Aesir Thor I mean the Aesir Thor and the trickster Loki on mortal Midgard Dread Sir what on mortal Midgard Dread Serta himself had taken part has taken a part which was not to happen until the eve of Ragnarok ah oh, I'm failing all the wise in all the nine worlds fear that his continuing intervention in mortal affairs portends the premature arrival of Ragnarok and doom for us all. The attacks on thy farm and village, terrible as they were, are then but two threads in this great pattern. For Hrungnir hunted thee at the direct command of Surtur, who sees that thou art fated to oppose him. It is thy task, then, as the, as the last surviving heir to the throne, and thy fated destiny as my son, to thwart Surtur's designs on Midgard. Thou must reclaim our fallen castle of the winds. <gasps> oh! When thou dost invoke the power of thy amulet once more, it will transport thee to a town near the castle. From there, wend thy way to the castle's ruined throne room, where even now the shade of my father, King Lifran Lifrancia, Thy grandfather awaits thy arrival. You notice your father's voice slurs somewhat, dropping a bit in pitch, and his mailed legs waver as if seen through fire. He looks away for a moment, then meets your gaze again. He doesn't shut, does he? I may tarry here no longer, but must leave thee now to fulfill thy destiny, and so lift the doom on our bloodline. Thy grandfather can tell thee more. May all the Aesir shield thee, dear son, my boy. With a final gentle smile, your father's image dissolves into, a, into the surrounding glow and the low rumble replaces his voice in your ears, leaving you alone, once again fatherless. The glow reveals no other figures, yields no other voices. You float without sense of time. After an in indeterminable period, of awareness of your surroundings returns. You find yourself back on your feet, with the amulet cooling in your hand, and a hundred questions heating your mind. Fudge that's over. Oh wait, no! Here ends part one of Castle of the Winds, a question of vengeance. To continue your adventures in part two, the fall of Surtur. What? Actually, it's called Lifrancia's Bane. What's this talking about? Save your game now and see order information under the help menu. Once you receive part two, you'll be able to load your character from part one and continue your quest. Yum! Ah, Valhalla's champions. I'm sex. Now, that good timing. Father just returned home, so I'm going to stop now. And we'll see you in part two. Lifthrance's Bane. Not the, the fall of Surtur or whatever. Thanks. Bye. See? Castle of the Winds, part two. Lifthrance's Bane. <laughs>